All right, so we're gonna do some quick anatomy lesson of the brain here, and I'm gonna show you the motor cortex of the brain. So it's very interesting. There's a part of our brain that is in charge of our voluntary movements, and there's actually a map to it. This anatomic representation in our brain is actually called the homunculus, is the official term for it. So this is the middle of the brain here, and this is the outside of the brain. So this is the middle, and this is the outside of our brain. Now you can see on this map, in the middle part of our brain, the leg representation, so it says hip, knee, leg, ankle, and toes, that's all represented along the inside middle aspect of our brain. As we move out towards the outside side of our brain, you can see we go from our elbow to wrist to our fingers to our thumb, and then all the way down to where our tongue and our um, larynx is. If you had a stroke into your brain in this region, which is on the inside middle of your brain, you may not be able to move your leg. If you had a stroke in this area right here, you'll have weakness of your face and may not be able to move your face. Likewise, there is a homunculus for our sensory cortex, so the part of the brain that helps us with sensation, and you can see how it's represented the exact same way as on the motor cortex, but it represents sensory information. So each area of the brain is represented, and to give you a better idea where it is, let me show you again on here. So um, this is a side view of our brain. This green area right here is the motor cortex and then the red area is our sensory cortex so it gives you a feeling where it is on the brain.